let's get started by setting up a new website using the Gatsby CLI. So this will be Gatsby new and let's call this Teams website. This is going to generate the project, install the packages and dependencies required, and it's going to generate a boilerplate with the new Gatsby project. Okay, so our new Gatsby website is ready. So let's clean this up. And now let's enter to the project folder. This is Teams website. And now let's install the plugin that will allow us to consume the Strapi API. So this will be npm install. And this is Gatsby source Strapi. Okay, now that the Gatsby source Strapi plugin has been installed, let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's set it up. Okay, and here we need to go to Gatsby config and we need to add a new entry here within this plugins array. So this will be resolved. And the name of the plugin. This is Gatsby source Strapi. And then we need to set up the options. Okay, and here we need to set up the Strapi endpoint. So this is API URL. In this case, we're going to consume the API from a local Strapi. So this will be localhost. What about HTTP? And the port will be 1337. This is the default port for Strapi. And here we need to add an array with the content types that we want to consume. So this will be an array. And the content type in our case will be im. Actually, this content type here with a name, a location, and a website. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And here we can also add a limit for the number of records that we're gonna get from the API. So this will be query limit. And let's say 1000. Okay, now let's open new terminal and let's build and run our website and let's access to the GraphQL ID. So this is Gatsby develop. Okay, now let's open GraphQL. That is an in-browser IDE for GraphQL and let's build the GraphQL query that we need in order to render that data in a React component for our Gatsby application. So I'm going to enter there. Okay, and here we need to go to all Strapi team. Here we need to go to edges. We need to go to node. And here we can select the different attributes of the node. So we can select the name of the team, the location of the team and the website of the team, for example. And if we run this, we're gonna get the three records that we already have in our CMS here. Barcelona, Manchester United, and Paris Saint-Germain. So we're going to grab this query and we're going to use it in order to render the data that we can see here in our React component. Okay, so here I'm going to copy this query and I'm going to paste it in our React component. Let's go to source, pages, index, and I'm going to paste it here. So this is something that you can see in detail on a previous video that I'm going to put here, but we basically are iterating over all the elements that we get here in this data variable. So let's run the server again. This is Gatsby develop. Okay, and now let's go to the website. And as you can see here, we have the list of themes with the name, the location, and the website. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care, bye.